Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Viking Beer Review. Uh, well, the Albino Rhino Beer Review is here. Well, we are looking at a beer. This beer was picked up for us by the one and only Colgate, so thank you very much, Devin. It is from Block 3, and it is... Block 3's Cheap Gold, which is a barrel-aged version of, uh, sorry, this is Old Gold, which is a barrel-aged version of Cheap Gold. It's 10% alcohol. It's a Belgian Golden Ale. I would open it with this guy, but, you know, you don't want me to. Is chopper open? No. So, I had ventured long and hard to find this beer in the back of a fridge. Let's try it. Oh my god, look at the splooge in there. Look at it. Can you see the splooge moving? I can see the splooge moving. Oh my god, it's scary. So, very splooge filled. And the splooge isn't actually lowering, it's uh, hanging out up here as if somebody just came in my glass. Streaking down, it's, it's disgusting. Oh god, it's disgusting. Uh, golden colored. <laughs> very, very hazy with a lot of splooge. Big, big head. Oh my god. It's, it's just, it's wrong. Okay, smell. I can't smell anything. Let's take the hat off. Ugh. Okay. So, couldn't smell anything with the helmet on. But just in case somebody comes to steal our treasures, we'll keep it within uh, within grabbing range. Hmm. Kind of sour. It smells kind of sour. Yeah, very, very sour. Uh, almost like there's Brett in there. Uh, it doesn't say anything on here except for uh, golden ale, barrel aged golden ale, barrel aged Belgian strong golden ale, old gold from block three. But yeah, you get a little bit of that vanilla. You oh, I forgot I had this thing on under the helmet. Yeah, you get a little bit of vanilla, but it comes off as a uh, straw. Vanilla straw, sour and kind of funky. Hmm. Let's try it. Cheers. There's a lot of fruit esters in there. More than I would have expected, to be honest with you. Um, lots of vanilla. Lots of vanilla. Lots of uh, wood tannins, oak tannins coming off. Oak tannins, vanilla. A little bit of apple. A little bit of apple and a little bit of pear uh, fruit esters in there. And a little 
oaky. Oaky, somewhat, uh, somewhat dirty finish. So, apple, apple and pear, lots of vanilla, lots of oak, lots of oak tannins, little, little like, uh, pepperiness, almost, and a little cloviness, and a little, like, uh, a little tiny bit of almost a, uh, a English hoppiness. It drinks really well. Like, in all honesty, it drinks extremely well. It's very smooth and at 10% alcohol. Yeah, there's a little bit of warming down in the stomach, but you wouldn't really guess it's 10% alcohol. At least I wouldn't. Um, there's nothing at all wrong with this beer. I really enjoy it. Is it the greatest beer I've ever had? No, not at all. But is it a bad... Uh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Shirt was hugging me too much. It's hugging me too much. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. There's nothing wrong with the beer. The beer drinks really well. And it has some great flavors. I'm really intrigued with this. Uh, block 3 is sometimes hit or miss for me, but every brewery is. You don't, I, I don't love every beer from every brewery. Uh, but there are some beers from Block 3 that I'm not a big fan of. I'm a big fan of this one. And I actually didn't really like Cheap Gold. But I think Cheap Gold came off with so, so little flavors that the barrel just shines. And this didn't even have to be in a barrel long. This could have even been in a barrel for 30 or 40 days. And it probably would have still shown very, very well because of how little flavor, at least I found, was in uh, in actual cheap gold. Um, it is a great little beer. If you know anyone that has some of it, you should really get it from them. Because... You can't go wrong with cheap gold. You just can't. No way you can go wrong with cheap gold. Well, I mean old gold. Out of 10 on old gold? Hmm. I would give old gold an 8 out of 10. Yes, an 8 out of 10 for old gold. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. This has been the Rhino, looking at Old Gold by...